crib. I, I think we can just go in full circles, though. I'm not seeing arm, head, rib. I'm not seeing it anywhere. Unless it's this one, but I don't think it is. Arm, head, rib. Don't. Hey, the LucasArts symbol in the back. I'm not seeing arm, head, rib. What the hell? I must be doing something wrong. Alright, let's just keep going right, since the passage seems to be a little bit narrower as I go right. You just go in full circle. There's the symbol. Arm, head, rib. Oh, don't tell me I did that all for nothing. Crap, I messed it up. Let's try this again then. Leg, head, no, leg, hip, arm. Leg, hip, arm. So I'll just keep on going left since that worked out well for me before. Leg, hip, arm. Through here. Leg, hip, arm. Next is rib, leg, hip. Which is still here. Was it on the same freaking screen? I'll be mad if it was. Head, rib, leg. Are they really being this nice to me? And then we got arm, head, rib. I bet it was on the same freaking screen that I was on, wasn't it? Alright, let's head through here. And we have made it through! <laughs> Thank God! Uh, how's the huge door? Can I open it? <laughs> Apparently I can! Through the doggy door we go! And we have made it through once again. Grab the key! No! It was a trap! Guy Brush Threepwood. You have finally been caught. I have searched every island, sailed every sea, and now you are mine. What do you have to say for yourself? It would have been easier if you'd left directions. It would have. Mm. Largo! Yes, sir, LeChuck, sir! Largo. Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir! This doesn't look good, guys. <laughs> you be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me! Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm. It is what is about to happen to you. Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. <laughs> uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um, well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> Any questions? What? Yeah, where, what's with all the Rube Goldberg things here? What the hell's going on? Where do babies come from? In your case, the orphanage. That's actually tr probably true. What does the candle do? The candle burns the rope, releasing the bag of sand. That's actually true. Who won the World Series in 56? Holy crap, I might know this. It's probably the Yankees. I mean, they did win like 29. 56, 56. Yeah! That's, got, that's still Yogi Berra. Who won the World Series in 56? I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. I think it's the Yankees. 
I could be wrong. 56. It might have been the National League. Could have been the Cardinals. Back then. He didn't say wh what he was going to do to me. Uh, an Ottoman comes to mind. <laughs> that is indeed possible. Now, you can actually lose this if you just don't do it long enough, but they give you, like, infinite tries uh, when you do do it. What you actually need to do is use the crazy straw on the drink. We need to spit again. Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick. Squirt the shield. Pooey. Not that one. This one. Hey, watch it with the spit. I swear it's off one of the shields. Uh, maybe it's off the pan. Pooey. Hey, watch it with the spit. We obviously have to spit on something, but I thought it was... I thought it was this one. I thought it was right here. There we go. That is one hell of a spit. Arr! What be going on in here? Largo, relight the candle. <laughs> Guybrush has escaped! No. Find them! They're on to me! Ah, I bet LeChuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. Can I... I, I can't see... Oh, there's crates. These are crates, but I don't know what's in them. I can't find the lid in the dark. Obviously. Okay. So, let's do what we have to do. Use the matches. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! This isn't gonna be good, is it? Whoa! And that was part three, so now it's time for part four. Dinky Island. It kinda looks like a pea, but it's Dinky Island where we are heading. We have escaped LeChuck. Hours later. Hours later. Ah! I get an achievement. Hooray. I think I actually missed an achievement for not waiting around long enough. Holly wants a cracker. Gee, oh. Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Wait, what? I want my granddaughter to marry a real man. A captain, not a washout like you. I don't think I like this parrot. Ah! Holly wants a cracker. Welcome to Dinky Island, home of the treasure of Big Whoop. Oh the heck with it! Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces! I got a bottle. Uh, uh, Can I open the bottle? Holly wants a cracker! It's empty and there's a cap on it. It's empty. No, no, no that's not right. And uh, there's a cap on it. There's a no, still. No, no, that's not right. Uh, it's a moonshine still. Moonshine, of course. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Pretty folly. Okay, let's go over it one more time. Oh the heck with it! Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. No ah, way. Ah, oh, the heck with it. Let's no make a map and tear it into four pieces. Way. Herman Toothrot. Herman Toothrot, what are you doing here? Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. You look different. Why are you still not wearing pants? Still no pants. He actually looks the same in the old version. In this version, though, he has a... Uh, Changed. What do you mean you've been waiting for me? Our meeting comes at this, the final moment of my existence so far. All else has been in anticipation of this event. That technically could be said about any second in your life. Do you mean to tell me that your whole life has been merely a prelude to meeting me here today? Yours too. But see, already the moment passes. Now our meeting is nothing more than another note in the grand overture to the next passage. What? I'm looking for a treasure. Have you seen any? There are many treasures here, found and unfound. The beauty of the ocean, for example. Or the treasure of the past, seen in the rings of trees, or the half-remembered cacklings of a parrot. 
the treasure of the future, waiting in the seeds of mangoes and the eggs of the platypus. Platypus? Where Dreams are we? Dreams that bring us messages from afar, which we are too simple to understand, and stars that do the same. Now you're getting into an exos And may not riches be found in the words of one who has explored the veiled inner worlds of the self? All right, uh, speaking of which, I am taking on students for a limited time. <laughs> I'm teaching philosophy here. Existentialism in particular, it sounds like. What sort of philosophy are you teaching? Neo-existentialist Cartesian Zen Taoism. It's all the rage at cocktail parties this year. I don't see how you could combine all of those. I really don't. Anyway, a Cartesian. Eh. How many students have you got? Well. None at the moment. That's but what as I soon as word gets out that a guru such as myself is teaching at a beautiful locale like this, I'll have to beat them off with a stick. <laughs> right here? On the beach? Sure beats a Tibetan mountaintop. I can go surfing when things are slow. There doesn't seem to be very big waves. Could you teach me some philosophy? Okay, here's a Zen koan for you. A what? A philosophical puzzle. If a tree falls in the forest, and no one is around to hear it, what color is the tree? So, it's brown. Brown? Nope. Forest green? Nah. Blue? Nope. Connie Joe? Cyan? Nope. Lavender? Nope. Magenta? Nah. Aquamarine? Not exactly. Red? Not even close. Burnt Sienna. Burnt Sienna? Not even close. How is Burnt Sienna not even close? Taupe? Nah. Raw Umber? Nope. Sepia? Sepia? Not exactly. I think it, I, if I keep on giving Mulberry? these. Nope. Periwinkle? Not exactly. He, he act I actually do get the right answer. Orchid? Not exactly. Puce? Not even close. I don't even know what pew says. Turquoise? Nope. Peach? Not exactly. Plum? Nope. Aubergine? Nah. Teal? Not even close. Mustard? Not even close. I swear that if I just kept going... Um... Cabernet? Nope. The right Flame? answer... Not even close. ...will show Smoke? up. Nah. As you can Wait. see, they're just kind of nope. going up. Coral? Not even close. Chartreuse? Nope. Cherry? Nope. Wisteria? Wisteria? Not even close. Raspberry? Not exactly. How many colors Vanilla? can you think Not of? Not even close. This is starting to get Asparagus? ridiculous. Nah. Cranberry? Nope. Sangria? Not even close. Now, I know the right answer Eggshell? is in here somewhere. Nah. Driftwood? Nah. Sumac? Nah. Alpaca? Not exactly. Alpaca, of course. Tarragon. Gray? Not even close. Evening Haze? Not even close. Tarragon? Not even close. This is already good annoying, so fine. The correct answer is all colors. I give up. Think about it some more and come back when you have an answer. Wait, seriously? I can I come back and brother. talk to him when I want to? Hey! Okay. Let's Look at go that. over it again, so no one forgets where we bury the treasure. Crowbar, hey, open them up. Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Yeah. No, oh, they smell like anchovies. And I got an art for picking up. Uh, I want ah, my granddaughter to marry a real man. Is a that? Not a washout. Like and you. we actually need to use this I bottle want my granddaughter to marry on this a rock real here. Man. A captain, not a washout like you. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not right. Uh, I better be careful with this. Probably, yes. Ah! Now we need okay. to use the martini Let's glass. Go over it again. With so the no ocean. One where we bury the treasure. Oh, no, no, that's not right. Uh, and now we can uh, use the glass of water hey, Captain with Marley, the still. Where should we bury the treasure? And we are moonshining. That seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. We are moonshining uh, experts. So now we oh, have distilled water. Tear it into four pieces. So let's go ahead and go into the jungle. I think that is all that we can do here. More jungle. More jungle. I go left. I will find a world map around here somewhere. Surely there will be here. Oh, there's a bag. Let's see if I can grab it. 
I can't reach it. What do you mean you can't reach it? Now, if I remember right, I can use the broken bottle on the bag. Just poke it. Like I said, you can reach it. Is that cereal? What the hell is that? What what is that? It's instant low sodium cracker mix. Just add water. That sounds awful. I can't open it? Fine. I wanted to open it. And they're not letting me through here? They're not letting me through there. So let's head back. Weird. Now I think. I'm a little confused here. I, th uh, I thought that I could open up the box once I had it. I want to open up that box. So let's head over to more jungle. And hopefully we can find something important. We do have a rope here. Can I pick up the rope? Nice. Can I open the box? It's nailed shut. Nailed shut. Don't I have a crowbar for this? Hey, dynamite. Just like it says on the side. What do you know? Let's pick some up. And with dynamite in hand, I think that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, Special Edition. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Guybrush, dr Dashing, <laughs> Threepwood. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.